Hi, my name is Dr. Joseph Papalia, and I'm a chiropractor in Center Ridge, New York. I'm also a member of the Mather Chiropractic Affiliation Network. Uh, Dr. David Ben Eliahu, the director of the program, has asked me to put together a short video of a technique that most chiropractors use in their office called the flexion distraction technique or the Cox technique. Now, the Cox technique is a non surgical approach to control cervical lumbar conditions to avoid cervical intervention if possible. Now the Cox Technique is well documented, well researched, and well respected in the chiropractic field and it's an evidence-based procedure system with safety, gentleness, and effectiveness incorporated. The reason why a lot of chiropractors will utilize this technique is based on its research. It will help increase disc space by 17%. It can also increase nerve opening by up to 28% and reduce intradiscal pressure and help restore or gain uh, range of motion in the lumbar and the cervical region. Um, this technique is very useful in facet, condition, uh, for, facet conditions, uh, disc herniations, disc bulges, uh, spinal stenosis, and radiculopathy or sciatica. Um, most of the times when a patient has reached this level where they're already on the table, um, they've already re uh, received some type of a treatment, either electric muscle stim or ultrasound or um, heat or ice, uh, prior to getting the traction done. Now the patient's in a prone position because it's a very easy position for them to tolerate. Um, as the patient is in the prone position, what the doctor will do is real simple. They'll place his hand on the spinous process segment that they're looking to open. So if I'm at the spinous process segment of L4, I'm touching the spinous process of L3 to open up the L3, L4 junction. With my right hand or the back hand, I'm tractioning down the table to again increase and open that disc space. We're also opening up the IBS, the spaces where the nerves are sitting, again to try to take any pressure off those nerves. Um, this technique also works great with patients who can't tolerate a traditional chiropractic adjustment. Um, there's certain patients in my office and I'm sure in, in many other chiropractic offices, uh, they can't tolerate a traditional side posture chiropractic adjustment and this technique works great. Um, it's non-invasive, real easy, and patients do great with this. Um, this technique can also be utilized in the cervical spine, um, though I'm not displaying it uh, today, uh, but it can be utilized. Great. Um, this patient is also great because if a patient has any complications or any spasms or reaction to this treatment, we can slowly and slightly quickly raise up this table and stop, okay? Um, if the patient has a lateral disc herniation, we could also laterally flex the table left and right to focus on one specific side of that nerve opening uh, compared to the neutral position. Um, again, this is a flexion distraction or the Cox technique. Um, it's a well-utilized technique that most chiropractors use in their office, very effective, and my name is Dr. Joseph Papalia. Thank you.